What is up YouTube? It is your boy Matt Turner back again and today as you can tell by the title I am going to unwrap this baby. You guys have been waiting for this. Um, as I said before I was going to start doing more product reviews and I came into a little bit of money so what better to get than this bad boy. <laughs> So yes, um, I purchased the uh, joystick <clears throat> 2.0, I think is what it's called. I believe the last one was called the Nano something, whatever. Um, and before we get dive too far into everything, just real quickly, if you haven't already, hit the subscribe button because I plan to do more of these and I will do an actual review. This is just the unboxing. I'm gonna show you guys what came in the package, how it came, what, how long it took, things of that sort um, and of course as always I'm gonna be trying to focus on my my voice um, so if I go up and down I'm sorry about that um, what else uh, I don't think there's anything else let's get into the video alright so like I said here it is this is um, the package that I uh, the joystick came in um, it came with a few things it's another thing in here it's a condom um, <clears throat> so right off the back just I'm just dropping everything <laughs> um, this little sheet of paper about the condom so if you don't know anything about the joystick it comes with it is a packer but also a um, it's a pack and play basically um, so yes that's gonna be interesting <laughs> for me not for you guys <laughs> unless you get it then then it'll be interesting but yeah it comes with this little slip because it says that always put a condom over the vibe before inserting it into the joystick um, so yeah they give you a little complimentary condom it comes with oh my god so I'm not gonna lie I opened this before this video um, because I like opening presents and um, a lot of other stuff. I'm just that person that like as soon as I get new clothes like I wear them like obviously I'm already wearing this but this isn't too old so it comes with a ton of instructions. Um, let me get that. So yes as you guys can see there are a ton of instructions on this thing. Um, Wow, and this is kind of overexposed. So, so yes, it just goes over like how to operate it. It go, it y'all, y'all, it goes over everything. This is what I wish Real Magic would have done when it comes to like cleaning and like using it and like where to sit it. the The amount of work and in, in depth instructions they have for this that's what i wish real magic would have done but like it goes over extracting it goes over things that should be like common sense and like you could probably figure out just by like you know messing around with it but they didn't want to take that chance they were like i'm gonna we're gonna make sure you know how to use this because common sense ain't so common um but yes a ton of instructions so here's the actual joystick and then this is the vibe. Um, so as you can see, it comes in a very nice discreet bag. Um, and so I really love that because I live with people and I don't want them to know what this is. Um, so I'm gonna make you guys wait. So I'm gonna save this for last. <laughs> um, so this is the vibe that goes in it. I did kind of already look at it. Um, the the holder it comes with a charging cable and then this is the actual vibe um, I actually wasn't expecting it to have this kind of like little hook 
Um, I actually was like wondering how they were gonna go about that because I was like, not everybody likes the same like vibrator. So like, how are you going to know if like this will work and like if I could just like buy a vibrator? I think um, Transthetics, shout out to you guys recommendation um you guys should probably make the whole of the actual joystick bigger so that if people do want to switch this vibrator for something else that they can do i think having something that's interchangeable would definitely be cool but that might be something that you can do i haven't done a ton of research i haven't read all the instructions yet this is just going based off of my first impressions so here's the vibe it's dead because i haven't charged it um but it inserts into this bad boy and I will show you guys that now. And this is probably gonna be a quick video because I'm just showing you what came with it. It comes with a syringe because the joystick allows for um, ejaculation. So it comes with a little syringe. And from what I read, you like fill it up with your lube. They say to use water-based, don't use silicone-based silicone lubrication. So you get this and then you like insert it into the tip. Um, so here it is. Here it is. This is what it looks like y'all. Um, Cause I know this is probably what you guys really wanted to see. So this is the joystick seven inch dark. Um, the darkest version, there's only three there's only three kind, and so this is the dark version. It does have veins and such on it, just so you can see. Um, there's the tip, the tip opens, um, and so that's where you would insert this into that and then squish, squish. Um, and then the back is for this piece, you would insert it like this. I'm not gonna insert it all the way because I did say use a condom with it. Yes, here's this little bad boy. This is what it looks like, seven inches. And then just for, um, I'm losing the word. What's it called? Reference, just for reference, this is the real Magic Packer. If you haven't seen my product review on that, I'll bloop a little card up here and I'll put it at the end. Um, but it's on my channel. You can probably find it on my front page. But this is the Real Magic 5 inches. This is the joystick. Um, so as you can see, the joystick is literally the length of the height of the Real Magic in terms of the actual insertion. 7 inches. Also, the girth of it is obviously bigger. Um, I personally wish this was, and girth wise, I wish this was smaller, but it's not for me. So <laughs> I'm fine with the size of the girth. Um, you can't really change the girth or anything like that. They only have pre-selected options, but this is, this is what everything looks like. Um, I will be back within like, I'm gonna stop swinging this around at you guys. Um, <laughs> I will be back within maybe um, two weeks, a month, uh, to show you guys kind of like, I really wanna get a feel for it, see what works, um, try out like DIY stuff with it because there's supposed to be like a specific underwear that you use with it, like they have an, a pre-made underwear that you're supposed to use. And so I didn't buy that because I don't like buying harnesses. So I'm just going to probably DIY something and see how that goes. Um, and I will, I will let you guys know when I do my full review. Um, so yeah. So yes, uh, that is uh, the joystick dark. Um, if you liked the video, please leave a comment down below saying that you loved it. Um, Leave it in the actual YouTube channel, guys. <laughs> um, I know a lot. I know I post my videos a lot on Reddit and stuff like that. I love the comments that I get from you. But if you want to help me out a little bit and get a little bit more engagement, so the YouTube algorithm will boost my videos, actually comment in the actual YouTube um, comment section. Um, like, share. 
hit the subscribe button so that you can stay up to date. Oh, well, you guys get it. Hit the bell notification so you can stay up to date on when I post videos. Um, and I am officially almost ready to take off my nipple dressings. So that's amazing. As you guys can see, I am flat as a sheet. Um, <laughs> but I still am wearing my nipple dressings. Um, the March 16th will be officially one month. So be on the lookout for my one month post-op video um, from Top Surgery. Also, if you haven't seen my top surgery video, the finale where I actually reveal my chest, um, that's on the front page of my YouTube channel. Oh, another thing, totally forgot before I end this video. So if you go on my YouTube channel page, you'll actually notice that I have featured like other YouTube channels that I enjoy. Um, and you'll also notice that a lot of them are, well, I have two sections. I have ones where I'm just like, my fun stuff because I like D&D and I like fitness so you'll find a lot of that stuff um, and tasting history because I love cooking um, can't make bread though <laughs> so um, I love watching his channel which you'll notice on the second bar that I have um, always I'm gonna fuck up her name cat cat black I did it right <laughs> you'll notice I have cat black and a few other um, YouTube channels all of the other ones are um, trans guys and specifically it's an I didn't try going to find specifically black trans guys but what I want to do with that section um, I can't add too many but I can always create more sections I'm trying to kind of create an easy way for people to find other trans youtubers that they like so if you have any recommendations or people youtubers that you really really like and I'm talking like um, not really like the big YouTubers, like we all kind of know these people like Knit by Name, Aiden, um, Ty, JC Andita. I'm not talking about the people who have more than like 50k subscribers or like 90k subscribers. I'm talking about just kind of like the small people, people who maybe only have like a thousand, two thousand subscribers. I'm trying to keep, I'm trying to make it easy for other people to find them and boost their channels. Um, so put those people down in the comment section below as well. That is it for me. It is your boy, Matt Turner, out. I will see you guys later. I hope you have a great evening or night wherever you are, and I will see you guys in the next video.